More than two decades ago, Lakers great Kobe Bryant went to China for the first time, and in the process of regular visits almost year after year, Bryant became the most popular NBA player in China ever. And that's why his massive Chinese fan base was devastated when they learned of his death in a helicopter crash on January 26. They posted millions of tributes on social media and state-run CCTV, which is not showing NBA games right now after a fallout with the league over Daryl Morey's pro Hong Kong tweet, decided to show some of Kobe's greatest moments, including his 81-point game. And whenever Kobe Bryant went to China, thousands of people showed up just to catch a glimpse of him and sometimes it was a mob scene when he showed up at a basketball clinic or a philanthropic event. Just days before he died, Kobe Bryant posted a video on Chinese social media wishing his Chinese fans a happy Chinese New Year. That was just on Friday, two days before his death. Kobe Bryant last visited China in August. He was there for the FIBA World Championship and he told Close Up 360 that because of growing up as a kid in Italy, he embraced different cultures, especially in Europe. But he also extended that to China, and that's why he became such a popular cult-like figure in China. And Bryant is a major reason why some of today's NBA stars, such as LeBron James and Stephen Curry, often visit China for the very same reasons that Bryant did. Kobe Bryant wasn't the first NBA player to visit China. Michael Jordan also visited in the early 1990s, but Kobe Bryant was the first to realize what could be accomplished by visiting China on a regular basis.